Hey guys, it's very good to be here again, and this is another video of Dragonair Silent Gods. Guys, I'm going to talk about which element is going to be good for you to invest your time in terms of the four season. Okay, why I'd like to do this video, guys, because I've done already one video talk about the four season, the second season, the third season, you know. From each season, you have a specific key element that, let's say, they highlight between the other elements, all right? And, of course, in terms of, the, of uh, each season, it's possible to have a second option after that you reach the middle of the season, okay? That happened exactly when Corrosion Team came in the game with the third season, all right? Because as, as you guys know, Corrosion Team changed totally the game or the format that you play the game in terms of temporal vortex. However, uh, you, you, you cannot only think about temporal vortex, you know, because there are some other uh, battles, aspects in the game that you have also to care about and to have a, a very good performance. Playing in the dungeons, when you talk about goblins, uh fame mender and, and like any kind of scenario bill of trials and so on there are different battles in the game and of course you always like to build a team that's possible you you save your time and you do these battles without any worry okay like a do in a way that you can do it smoothly and for reaching exactly your objective, that is what? To do the farm in the game, to get equipment, you know, and improve your account for good. That's what it is. It's always what exactly players would you like to do and they are doing at the moment. All right. So now I back again with the question, which kind of, oh, let's say, I'm going to do this question. Which kind of element you guys think that is going to be the best one for, for the fourth season, for season intermediate? Because actually the fourth season intermediate is the same, uh, is the same season of the fourth season, right? So which element you guys think that is highlighting in the game? Well, I would like to I'd like to give you my opinion. And first of all, I'm going to talk about the Thunderbolts. Why I'd like to say the Thunderbolts, guys? Because uh, with the fourth season, when the fourth season came along with, for all of us, we got a bunch of, uh, of heroes, okay? And the hero that impressed everybody in terms of DPS, in terms of damage, it was Orfana. You know, Orfana changed totally... Uh, our point of view in terms of the Thunderbolt heroes, because when the Thunderbolt hero came in the game with the second season, we thought, oh, this uh, this Thunderbolt is going to be very strong, but not not, not really, you know. Um, of course, if you have Pergunte, Pergunte is what he is an exclusive legendary hero, which is not easy to get at all. You guys know well how it's hard to get an exclusive legendary hero like this guy right here. No, everybody. I'd like to have a pregunta in my account, okay? But Thunderbolts really, really needed to to have something like to have a plus, to have a one hero there, like a, to to be improved in some way, you know. And what what exactly the studio did, the developers did in terms of the Thunderbolts team? They brought Orfana, okay? So Orfana is this lovely legendary hero here that's possible you get uh, playing the first season. And this hero changed totally the aspect of the Thunderbolts because if this hero is aligned with, with Pergunte, you guys are going to have insane performance in the game since the beginning. Since the beginning, playing for like you can use this hero for everything. Imagine, you don't need to have Pergunte on your account. If you have Orfana, she does the damage by herself. She is insane hero. And by the way, if you'd like to check my tier list about talk about all these heroes in terms of the first season, because I did all the tests in terms of these heroes. Uh, in the description of my, of my video, I have the tier list right there. You guys can go and check it because I test everything. And there are also videos 
where I've been testing, like between the live videos, I've been testing these heroes, uh, checking exactly the damage of these heroes. Is how I built this uh, tier list, okay? I check everybody, I check between the sports, I check everybody, okay? And and then it's not enough because like I also I was thinking that this guy here, this guy here should be insane as as a damage dealer, but not really. Like a Perseus actually is a supporter. He's very good according to what he does. Uh, he can help you a lot in terms of temporal overtakes as well. You know because he, this guy here he's twelve times. You know is insane. Uh, the specs are like look at this. Uh, he, he hits the target 12 times, so he won't miss any time when he's going to act. His uh, he's going to perform his uh, ultimate uh, skill. He will not he will not miss uh, the opportunity to put what defense down. You know, he's good. He's good according to what he does. And actually, the guys was using this guy here, uh, like the players using this guy here in a composition to have like a double defense. Uh, defense down against temporal vortex to improve uh, the damage in terms of the the temporal vortex uh, level one, level two, even the the, the the level three. You know, if you place a two uh, two defense down, it's possible that you're going to get uh, better damage. Okay, I also test. Yeah, I do not have pursuers, but. I have replicas and I did it with the replicas. Kind of the same. I use replicas placing what? Placing him with more defense. But he does kind of the same performance like a person. Okay? But guys, uh, honestly, um, according to my point of view, according to the performance, and I've been playing with the with the Thunderbolts. Uh, for the first season, not not now. Not for this, uh, for the first season intermediate, I decided to go with the the shadows. Okay, but definitely, I recommend everybody if you have it under bolts, if you get Orfana for the first season, use this hero. Use this hero. Uh, the thunderbolts, the lightning heroes are together with the radiance. It's good point because you guys can also use what you can use the Ardrath, uh in your team. You can use like a Gario, so you can build well with your team for you have a very good performance in terms of temporal vortex. Um, of course, I suggest you also try to get a Steon because a Steon it was another hero that came with the first season and impressed everybody because um, a Steon has what? He, she placed exactly uh, the fence down permanently and that, that she helps in some way for you have a for improve your performance or improve your damage between bosses in the game in general well, not just about boss i mean like uh, everything you know you guys gonna use it in terms of the of the dungeons any kind of dangers there i used a stay even for my goblins you know because you also she helps in terms of heals as well you know so i place with uh, a stay on there with my shadows and i still there with the same team I still there is the same team in terms of goblins, and I, I pass very fast, very easily for everything. But uh, you guys can do that the same with the Thunderbolts user Fena. Okay, so uh, the first element again, the first element that uh, totally highlighted in terms of the first season is the Thunderbolts. Okay, is the Thunderbolts with the Thunderbolts guys. We are going to have a very good performance in terms of the Vortex, level 1, level 2, level 3. But, after that you reach a certain point when it's possible you improve your heroes uh, to level 5, uh, level 5 like uh, 5 stars, and improve your heroes for uh, level 100. And then, you, everybody, if you get a Rook, if you, if you, if you have a Rook in your account, uh, Corojo, is going to highlight in terms of temporal vortex, but I think temporal vortex is just about rook. When you talk about rook and corrosion, just about temp, uh, just about temporal vortex. Now, uh, temporal vortex is even the chiefs. Yeah, I cannot put the chiefs out of this. But if you want to use uh, a team for everything, you guys can go and e use easily the thunderbolt heroes. Okay. And if you have Shadows, Shadows also is a, is a very stable, is a very stable 
uh, school of, of element in the game for the fourth season you know mainly if you get if you got already heroes that include uh, Ozu that is the exclusive legendary hero or even Asphalta Asphalta is the queen in terms of arena you know you guys can go easy and use easily uh, shadows but in terms of temporal vortex I use I use the shadows okay but uh, the shadows won't highlight it like on the same way that the Thunderbolt is going to be highlighted you be highlighting if you have Orphan all right i know this because i used this hero before i i i did in my i had my experience playing with the shadows now for the fourth season intermediate and i had my experience playing with the orfana in the fourth season when they when the first season start for the first time okay so yeah guys this is my suggestion here the the best the best element for the first season definitely is going to be for for the beginning you know, to you reach five stars with your heroes for you be able to get corrosion team, you prepare your corrosion team, or if you would like to keep it with the thunderbolts, definitely is the lightning with the thunderbolts, the school of the elements with thunderbolts heroes. Okay, this is uh this is the best suggestion that I give to you. And then of course, if you get a red, if you got a red corrosion with rook, and then after that, after after we are that you are able to prepare our heroes for level 100 and then you're gonna bring uh and put the corrosion team to to give you the crazy performance in terms of temporal vortex for the for the third uh for the level for the third level of temporal vortex or even for the fourth for the fourth level of temporal vortex all right but again guys Lightning Heroes is the one with the Thunderbolt skills, okay? In terms of the, the fourth season here. And uh, is a is a is a element that's possible you guys use for everything. The same way that you also guys can use Necrosis for everything as well, you know. But I talk, I give more emphasis in terms of Thunderbolts because Thunderbolts can do better for everything I included uh Tapro Vortex. Alright. I hope that my video is going to be good for you. Thank you very much for who is watching me. Uh, thank you for all the support, guys. Leave your like right there. Leave your comments. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Order and chaos rolling in the multiverse. For thousands of years, their wars have never ended. Everyone has been involved in this war. So, where is your fate rolling to? Now, rolling in the Dragon Air world.